Hello again. Today we're going to be looking at a good camera for vlogging. Now, many of you out there use your mobile phone for vlogging, or maybe you have one of these old camcorder style cameras. This is a Sony and it's very light. The battery lasts quite a long time and it's easy to use. You can flip the screen around so that you can see yourself and it's a quite capable little device. But picture quality, as you can see, 9.2 megapixels stills and the video is in HD but I've got a feeling it's only 720p. And um, I tried using this for my unboxing camera but it, it just wasn't very good. So you could use that. You could use your phone. This is an iPhone 10. It takes great video, great images, uh, nice and stabilized. And it's a great thing. It's nice and light. You put it in your pocket. You don't need to carry extra things. And if you need to do a quick vlog, it's perfect. You could use one of these. This is a DSLR, a Canon, and like uh, Casey Neistat, Peter McKinnon, they all use cameras like this. It's a good camera. The battery is good. It lasts a long time, but it's quite heavy, quite cumbersome. But it's a good camera, and it takes nice video. But this is what I have for you today. This is a Canon, and it's the Canon M6. As you can see, it's got a mic input, and it's got the flippy, tilty screen. Um, the screen flips upwards, so if you want to put your uh, Rode video microphone on there, then you'd need to do what I've done and put a, a side bracket on. This is the lens that usually comes with it and it's a 15 to 45 millimeter lens. It's a nice lens, uh, but you could also use this. This is an adapter that makes the M body capable of taking the bigger lenses. As you can see, this is the, the adapter here. And it's called a mount adapter EF to EOS M. And that means that you can put the Canon L lenses or you can put the EFS lenses like this one this is a 24 mm and it gives you a much nicer image and you have a lot more choice for different lenses so you could put something like the the 17 to 40 mm and that gives you a nice wide angle but it also gives you the quality the the image quality uh, this one's 24 mm it does the job nicely as you can see the road video microphone I've got that plugged into the, the microphone in. This doesn't have a headphone jack, um, but if you're vlogging, you don't have the earphones in anyway. Right, so I've got this on a, a small tripod, and I've got a, as you can see, a Peak Design cuff to stop, just in case the camera falls, I'm not going to drop it on the floor. Now this tripod's a bit it's not quite strong enough. I do have other handles that I use instead, but I put this one on for the, the video so that you could see the possibility of you know, a tripod that you could just fold out and use anywhere, put it down, take a video, and then fold it up and use it as a handle. So for that, it's a really good idea. Now, obviously, the road Video Micro you can't put on the top because the flip screen flips upwards. Um, they've just released an M50, which is a 4K Canon camera, um, but unfortunately the 4K doesn't seem to work very well and uh, it crops it in too much. So there we go. There's the Rode Video Microphone. And when you put it on the side like that, you only need a little L plate or a little bracket, metal bracket to go on there, and it does the job excellently right so let me know in the comments below what you use and if you think this is a good idea 
if you want to take something quite light and small out. It's a mirrorless camera, this one, um, but it does have the dual pixel AF, which is Canon's um, best little sales pitch. Uh, it's got a 26.1 megapixel sensor and it takes great video. I'll put a little video clip in in a few minutes and you'll be able to see the video for yourself. Now, it'll just be a short one because I'm a bit busy today. So let me know in the comments what you think of this and if you use a similar setup or if you use maybe the M3 or the M5 or if you're going to buy the M50. Let me know what you think to that as well. Um, I haven't seen one yet, but uh, I'm waiting for them to come into stock here. And maybe I'll get one and show you what it's like. Right, so that's it for this video today. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Don't forget, please subscribe. Every new subscriber is welcome, and I'll see you next time. Hello, everyone. Just a quick test video just to show you the image quality. Uh, it's not too bad, is it? Um, the picture is pretty clear. Dual pixel AF works really good. As you can see, I'm moving around and it's, it's tracking and keeping everything in the way it should be. Uh, the audio isn't too bad. Uh, I think the Rode Video microphone is a, a really good microphone to, to have with a camera. Anyway, see you next time. Bye-bye.